Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll show you how to upgrade or replace the hard drive in a 2009-2010 MacBook. We've already gathered our materials, shut down the computer, and are working on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. The first thing to do is close the MacBook's lid and flip it over. On the bottom, there are a total of eight Phillips screws that will need to be removed. Start with the top four. Then, remove the bottom four. Once all eight screws have been removed, simply lift up on the bottom cover to detach the clips on the inside. Once they've come free, you can set the bottom cover aside. The hard drive is located here in the lower right corner of the MacBook. Loosen these two screws to remove the retainer bar that holds the hard drive in place. Use the plastic tab to lift the hard drive out of the case, then pull the SATA connector free of the drive. Using your Torx T6 screwdriver, remove the four retaining posts from the drive. Finally, peel off the plastic tab. You can now set the original drive aside. We can install either a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive or a 2.5 inch solid state drive in the MacBook. For this installation, we're going to install a standard 2.5 inch SATA hard drive. Take the four retaining posts you removed from the original drive and put them in the same positions on the new drive. Then, attach the plastic tab to the drive in the same position as well. There should be enough residual adhesive to allow it to stick. Attach the MacBook SATA cable to the connector on the new drive, then slide the entire drive assembly back in the same way the old one came out. Replace the black retaining bar, making sure the raised side is facing towards the drive, then tighten the two screws that hold it in. You can now set the bottom cover back into place and reinstall the eight screws you removed earlier. You may now flip your MacBook back over, open it up, and turn it on. 